that uh, you know, as one that uh, ate everything, uh, which both of us have about the, the back leg. Okay, okay. No, you, you just, uh, <laughs> just adjust it and uh, it's okay. And I became a uh, vegetarian, no, uh, uh, vegan, no vegan, before vegan, only eating oh. cheese and uh, no oh, vegetarian. Vegetarian. Vegetarian? Ah, uh, vegetarian, afterward uh, vegan. Mm -hmm. And I know that my next level is like... Uh, oh, going more time. subtle with the foods. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. And see, it, it basically the whole process is just by you working with this organ, that's why I was making that relationship. We as humans are good or doing things external from us, but to put yourself in that same... First, there's some hard truths that people got to... I was saying that on the way here. Have to accept. And once you accept them, your eyeglasses come on. You can see now. And this is a vehicle, a piece of equipment, a machine, a bio machine. Some people just don't want to look at it like that. But, you know, when you got a doctor who can go in, cut you open, put the leg back together, right, just like any old mechanics on the car. Mm -hmm. So this is a machine that you're living in, but it's a valuable machine because this is also our house. Our temple. Our temple. This is what you need to get around in this realm. So the pranic journey, who is it for? It's for a person who wants to really get around more efficiently. You got to want to. It's a desire. Mm -hmm. Yes, you can stay stuck on other desires and have fun. You know, those are nothing but life experiences. Mm -hmm. and that's good to go through those, experience them, but don't let the experience overtake you to where it start causing pain. Like what? Like, for instance, there was a guy who's in the Guinness Book of World's Record. And he's in there for having the longest running car. Longest running Dr car? Uh, driving yeah. car. Mm. To where it is still in its original form. So he's been driving. they got the most miles on it in the world. Okay, he's in the Guinness Book of World Records for that. Now, they asked him this question. That year when the car was made, there was thousands, if not millions, of that same car came out. Why is yours still on the road and everybody else ain't make it? They asked them that question. Then, mm -hmm. what did you do differently to keep that car running? And they ain't like he just kept it locked up somewhere. He drove it every day. Mm -hmm. Well, he said, I read the instruction manual, and I did exactly what the instruction manual said to do. Mm -hmm. In other words, when I went a certain amount of miles, uh, it's time to change the tire. Or the oil or, or the oil, oil or something like that. It don't matter what I feel just because no light ain't come on. I did that because that goes with the instruction manual on how to run a vehicle. Mm. It just looked good too. So it's the same with us on as human beings. There is a thing called preventive medicine. And that's basically dealing with you living a lifestyle or a way of an existence where you actually are in tune with the instruction manual to come with us. Now, most people say a destruction manual. So when we talk about universal laws or there's rules that we're under, they're invisible. That's why it's easy to violate them. And we're in this age where, I'm, where I could do what I want to do with my life. Even though you're violating these universal, invisible laws. But what happens is, it's not like going to court where you probably could sway the judge, pay him off or whatever. You're a good lawyer. A good lawyer. <laughs> These laws that we live in, it don't care. It's going to be keep the law, and you can't persuade yeah. it. It's going to carry it out. So I don't care how much money you got. There's laws between men's law mm -hmm. or universal laws. Exactly. And we're up under them. All of us is born in them. Mm -hmm. That's how we're living in this realm. So living on prana is observing these laws again, these in invisible forces to better our lives, to better the vehicle. And the more you come in tune with them, you come into them with them. They're not going to change. That's when you become more self-sufficient. But where, where do you have the knowledge of these laws? Because I, as a, as a vegan, speak with my neighbors. Mm -hmm. They are eating meat and holidays. They are eating a lot of meat. And he said, listen, the laws that is written in the holy scriptures said that we are allowed to eat meat and to uh, slaughter... And well, people will grab scriptures in any religion. It's not putting religions down nor scriptures. Just dealing with a human being, they would take a scripture to justify their behavior. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. Everybody yeah. does it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thou shalt not kill, but we got to go kill them. You know, you're justified. Or you're, you're, there's always a scripture to back it up, mm. to back up your behavior. Yeah. I even see the guy who smoked a lot of weed and he found some scriptures to show you. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> So we could play all day long with that. In Jamaica. Right. <laughs> There's a scripture that says, no need This is it, right. <laughs> Even Dylan would be in a vegan. There's a scripture. That's what caught my yeah, attention sure, that thing. Sure, sure. You ought to eat the seeds and herbs in the field. Mm -hmm. Okay, you got me. Yeah. That's what God said. You need to speak this <laughs> way and to do that way. And, uh, every... So we play that game as humans all the time as we've been in these groups and stuff. But the real book that everybody has access to is ourselves. That's why they say you to be read and learned of all men. And a person who's real skilled at reading somebody's physical body, your body does not lie. Sort of like you can look at somebody's eyes, the white of them. We have a science called aureology now. Mm -hmm. That tells you what's going on in your intestines yeah, and stuff like, like this. Uh, we're getting more knowledgeable if there's a pain in the shoulder. It could be originating from the leg area. Because there is a circuitry that's going on in the body. More and more we come in tune with this. So your body is telling the story uh, uh, and telling us what's good or bad. Like lately, there's been a lot of people, I'm having trouble sleeping that night. I, and I say to them, well, stop eating that night. You shouldn't be eating that night. You know what I mean. That's where your digestive system is resting. The activity of the sun is gone, so the body cools down. So it's in a resting mode so you can regenerate. So just by them going into one observance and saying, okay, he didn't say change my diet, just don't eat at night. They see these improvements take place. That's how you know universal laws. See, scriptures was made in the first place, you know, they say by holy men that was moved by God, but what they did was observe how nature works. Nature is showing us processes, you understand? Like one time I went over a person's house there was a plant there that was, they had it in a dark corner and was leaped over. I said, why you do that plant like that? They didn't think nothing of it. Let me get that plant off you. I took it home, changed the soil, put it in a good structure Sunny and in the sun. It didn't even take long. In two weeks, it was like this. Mm. And in a month's time, that person came over my house. That was my plant. <laughs> All it needed was that. That's universal laws. And we're doing the same thing. You have to become aware to put yourself in the right soil in life. Uh, get the right environment, the right nutrients. It's already here. You understand? And I didn't have to spend money on that plant. See, truthfully, even when we deal in this age of money and everybody's chasing a lot of money, it really doesn't cost a lot for the basics of what you need in life. Mm -hmm. This is heavy for you to come into that realization. You really don't need much. And I'm not saying be a bum and cast off the world. It doesn't take much for you to be maintained. Yeah, this is when I speak with my uh, <laughs> guidance and I uh, say, listen, uh, why I don't have enough of this or enough of that? And, right. uh, and he says, listen, do you have something to eat today? <laughs> where, where to sleep today? Right. You have enough, uh, enough money only for the gas, only for today. Mm -hmm. For today, you have enough. Right. I said yes. So, what do you need more? What you and see that's what's hurting people too. It's a psychological thing going on. I've been to countries literally where I'm saying, man, this is a barbarian paradise. The air is clean. The, the, the you know everything's there. All my needs is met. But the person besides me, even though they needs are met too. They're looking at the vision of what somebody else is doing. So they're yeah. looking at the American dream. That's where I need to be. Now, they don't know the, the downfalls what people are going through. They don't think poverty exists mm -hmm. there. All they see is what they saw on TV. Mm -hmm. And it don't matter. That's what they're chasing, even though their life might be complete. Yeah. Whoa. Also, also, you see rich people, and they are still going to work, and they are struggling, and they want more still money. Still struggles. I just met a man who had money. But yet still he caught a stroke, and I would do anything to be able to walk on the grass. But he was chasing so much money, he got what he wanted, but he missed out on other things in life that he took for granted. And now he's looking at this, that's all it took. See, there's other... And, this and he also compare himself to someone that is richer than him. Right. Said, I don't know. We do it all the time. Me. But even though we talk this, this isn't nothing new I'm talking. 
people have to go through their own life experiences before they're ready for certain other experiences. If you still want to chase that dream, there's nothing I could say. You mm -hmm. understand? You I've been through it already. I know what it feels like to own a house or own a car. That's why I could talk like this. Mm -hmm. Somebody said, the reason why you could say money don't mean nothing because you already experienced it. You understand? Yeah. So I'm crystal clear. If you haven't, you still want that experience. So that's why it usually makes it harder for a person. You got this person that got money and this person that don't. It's actually uh, uh, harder for the person who don't for the simple fact they still want to have that experience. Yeah. The one who has it know that this isn't really giving me life. Buddha was a very rich prince. He thought he was a rich prince. Right. This is why it was easy for him to leave this place. And <laughs> <laughs> right, that's why it was easy for you. So there's certain things, in other words, you got to get off your chest, sort of like a man soiling his oats before he get married. Mm -hmm. You know? <laughs> And when we talk about food, basically what I'm telling people, sow your oats before you want to become food free. Because that desire is still in you. It's not going to work. But people don't want to hear that. They want to hear that this is for everybody. But I can see there's certain desires you have in you that being food free might not fit the desire that you're looking for. You're still looking for that intimate relationship with a person. Nothing wrong with that. But the foundation of that is usually let's go out to eat when you go out to a date. Where do you want to go out to eat at? Mm. What movie you want to watch on Netflix? Let's go mm. to the movies. That's what you're doing. Mm. So if you still want to experience that date in life, why you want to be food free? Now you should be uh, better your diet, better your health. That should always be in the forefront. So being food free is a byproduct of living healthy. Do that make sense? It will come around when certain desires is already going and you ain't chasing it no more with your mind. That brings in another energy to move forward. To Other than that, it's not going to happen. Simple. Simple, and it becomes simple. Natural. 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 The next step. That's what we're trying to tell people. Like I got one woman who got all these kids running around the house, boyfriend here, boyfriend there, and you want to live on Prana. Your mind is divided in too many directions. Yeah. So this ain't got nothing to do with a technique no more. Yeah. You have other desires. Yes, yeah, they need to... That's why the spiritual the circles, they start breaking off mm -hmm. the desires of the world so that the focus... And the concentration can be on those other energies to come to the vessel. You understand? We create our reality. But as long as you got those other things, money, girlfriend, children, yeah, even your children, you have to wait till they get a certain age, out on their own, because like I had my son with me one time, and it was just natural for me, even though I wasn't eating, to think about getting him food. So it automatically put you there. He was grown at the time. Not saying he needed me, but being a parent, you're still thinking that. Yes. So he got everything he needed. Now when he left, <laughs> I felt it drop. You know mm. that I didn't have to think like that when I woke up in the day. Yeah, I need so to pay each, by, uh, to uh, uh, children uh, support. Uh, yeah, your child uh, support and stuff. And they eat everything. They are living in the city, and they have uh, right. TVs and every kid has his own. TV, All of that counts. Never more trying Right. Yeah, they live in separate life with their mother when they come here and said, okay, close the phones. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, everybody's working together. With, with, uh, right. And they need like a couple of hours to adjust. Uh, <laughs> to adjust from that type of atmosphere. Yeah. Absolutely. But everything affects our lives on Prana. Mm. You, you understand? So I'm glad you even brought that up because I was like uh, living in a situation where my son, as he was getting older, every other weekend he came to see me. Now, in that weekend, I had to prepare for food, even though I'm living on Prana. Mm. So instead of fighting against that a week ahead of times of our life, I decided to eat every other weekend. People don't think that way. See, we in a mindset. So you ate every other weekend? Every other weekend. Which you still time. broke the record of what mm. we're talking about food. Mm. That's It's impossible for the average person. That's what living on Prana is. See, we think living on Prana is all or nothing. No, you just became, for number one, Food does not keep you alive. It appears to be that way due to you being at a certain vibration. It is. Mm. Once you grow and your vibration raises, it don't have nothing to do with your health. If it comes naturally uh, to become breatharian, right. it can't become naturally or you need to go through this uh, process, special process, well, it's all dealing to with open like, uh, very, like uh, special parts inside your body. You know what I mean? Oh, well, see, as you're asking to this, just the, it's just yeah. like how you're making this organic stuff. 
Each separate piece is its own piece. It ain't going to do what it's doing right now. Dealing with the energy. This copper is just copper. Matter of fact, even before it came in this form, it was in the ground somewhere. Mm -hmm. We as humans have the ability to make it into something else. That's alchemy. And then the way you put these things together, you wanted the intent to be something else than what it was before. Mm -hmm. That's sort of like pharmaceutical means witchcraft. It's bringing certain elements together so you can get another type of result. Is this making sense? So even when a person cooks a recipe, each every ingredient is an ingredient by itself. But when you put it together to get the outcome of chicken noodle soup, which is saying. <laughs> <laughs> right, that's the effect you want. Or vegetable soup, you know, not to offend certain people. But it's the same with our bodies on how you want to use it. You, you understand? Uh, we got energy centers, you got different, uh, you got your blood flow, it's just like a person with high blood pressure. Now, they wasn't born with it, but they developed it. I'm asking if I like started... Well, this is where I'm getting at. Oh, okay. They developed a high blood pressure, right? Mm -hmm. So you want to live on prana. So you have to develop first, dropping the blood pressure. Now, how did you do that? You reverse what you were doing before. So yes, you do need to do something. If that answers your question. You have to make changes on your current lifestyle. Because for number one, before you can live on prana, everybody's already sick. Some people just a lot more healthier than others. Because for you not to live on prana, which is easy once you get there, that means that there's energy channels that you blocked up because for number one, you didn't know, you was ignorant, so you want to transform yourself. Mm -hmm. So yes, there's things you need to do. Is that making sense? Yes. Wow. I, I mean, I, I will adjust it a little bit. Uh, like uh, a fetus inside the womb, He's not breathing from his uh, nose right. uh, air. He's breathing from his mother. Yeah, uh, but he's in a water environment. Mm -hmm. But when he goes out, it's like something inside his lungs is uh, is taking off all the water, and mm -hmm. then the lungs. Now he can live in this realm. Yeah. Now for you to live off the forces, you have to make another birth. <laughs> Some people call it rebirth. See, these symbologies are mm -hmm. all spirituality. All of them is talking about a transformation. Going from one form to another. Yeah. What does that mean? When people think that when I leave my physical body, I'm going to some real estate up in the sky. All we're doing, as I'm teaching this message, I'm putting you back into your body. Everybody's been leaving their body. You leave your body when the last breath leaves. Now you're getting this breath back in, this breath of life. You should feel your feet. You should feel your legs. Other than that, if you don't feel it as it's numb, that's toxicity. That's energy blockage. Does this make sense? Mm -hmm. You want to get back in your body. So there's things you got to do. You got to open up your energy channels. It takes work depending on how bad your health is. Everybody's different. That's why people say, how long is it going to take? And I'm looking at them. And I'm trying to be nice. You are tore up. I'm looking at you. This ain't being judgmental. Your head is round. Your gut is out here. You got work to do. It won't take long. But if you got a dream to live on prana, all of that's blocked up. But the good thing about it, this isn't putting you down. You need to hear this so that you can work with what you got. Mm -hmm. This is yours. Everything else is come and go. This is yours. And when this expires, you expire. Mm -hmm. We got to get that in our head. Everybody. Like people will come to me, but I love to eat. You know, some young person. It's okay to love to eat, but learn how to eat. Once this is gone again, you're gone. Do you understand this? Don't overeat. Don't abuse the eating, and that's what humanity's problem is. In a nutshell, you're designed to be creatures of pleasure and habits, but when you start abusing stuff, that's when it becomes sick. And when you're sick, pretty soon you're going to die. Oh, did I say that? You said it. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. So this is where we at. And it it's user-friendly again, but you've got to be able to get on this path. Ain't no use of getting into somebody with a high intellectual that you think they are conversation where you get your carbohydrates, where you get... And see, what that is, is borrowed knowledge. Yeah. First of all, they don't know what a carbohydrate look like. They looked in the book. 
somebody told it to him, you're a program. Right. You don't know what a mineral yeah, yeah, yeah. is. Washing. Right. Even now, I don't know what a mineral vitamin is. Why you get your mineral I don't know what it is. I'm ignorant, and I want to stay that way about People it. People ask me, ah. how do you get your protein? Uh, well, don't I, even know what it is. I told them, listen, it was like this. Somebody told it to you. I was like, uh, in the beginning, I was uh, taking blood and uh, examining for uh, the, the physician. He said, okay, this, this is your list of things that you have or don't have. And they look on the B12. Right. Measurement. Right. They said, uh, you have a 400. Last year, it was like, it, it was uh, okay physically. Yeah. Now, they took it uh, up to 800, and now you are uh, uh, half uh, lower. Right. So because said, they changed the measurement and yeah, the they, scale. Yeah, right. they, they changed the scale. Now, you have, yeah, last year, I was like physically healthy, mm -hmm. and now I have a problem. But this is what people got to understand, and this is a truth <laughs> that we got to get. Just because you read a scientific paper does not make it factual dealing with universal laws. Yeah, it's like so that's why science and technology, and I'm not putting it down, it does great things. But when it keeps replacing itself, that shows it was a belief system for that time. Mm -hmm. That's why it keeps changing. So when you look at the medical field and it makes these new updates, that's good. But we also, once you understand it keeps changing itself, that could be a factual truth to where we at at this time. Don't make it a law and fight somebody just because they're coming with another law. You understand? But these measurements are, are these numbers are always changing. Well, that's why we got to educate. This is why I'm out here to teach this and mm -hmm. other people to educate. So you, because we want everybody to come aboard. We don't want you to fight us against it and say, "See, I was right and you wrong." We're not trying to do that at all. Even a skeptic, he's dealing with his health, and I'm trying to help you. Stop. You know, at least get your health together. See, work with the planner on your own and then come back to me. Get a meditation. Open up your energy channels. Get you a teacher and learn what they are if you don't know what they are. Once you come back, then come back to talk to me. Other than that, we, we're just going back and forth and you're not understanding what we're talking about. Waste of time. Right. It's just sort of like a person in a deep dive and who's on the bottom of the ocean. He can try to explain it to you, but you will never know what that feels like until you go down there and have that experience for yourself. That's what we're saying. True. <laughs> right. I know what a Salisbury steak tastes like. Right. I just, that used to be one of my favorite dishes. But I don't want to go there now because I don't want that experience. I'll grew it. You understand? If you, if now you will eat something. Right. How do your body will react? Oh, you'll be up. See, this doesn't mean you don't know how to eat no more. No, I no, mean but the, I'm feeling, the feeling. Oh, well, check this out. I, I, if I will eat right now, like, something like butter, mm -hmm. I have, uh, in a mistake, somebody gave me a cookie, and they know that... Oh, this is what happened. And I ate the butter. I used to love eating butter. Mm -hmm. And I, I said, wow, it's butter? And it was, like, it was disgusting right. in, in the mouth, and it was, like, sun, sandy, and it was, like... If I say nothing will happen, that won't be the truth. And people need to know this. This is user-friendly again. Everything you eat, whether if it's a steak or an apple, first of all, it causes mucus. Bang! That's coming up. Every food. Every food. It causes mucus. And mucus is a good thing. Your body produces it because your mouth is connected to your anus. So it collect, it, mucus is basically a liquid that's slimy. It comes up on your tongue when you're fasting. And that's so that the food could pass through smoothly to help you. Mm -hmm. So you produce mucus. All food causes an inflammation. All food? All food. Even the... Uh, Absolutely. Uh, it blows up. It got to make room for it. You just change the vehicle. Does that make sense? Every change you make changes the vibration. Yeah. So an inflammation means... Also if live food like vegetables It doesn't matter. Or uh, fruit. Right. You change the vehicle. Something's new there. Yeah. So not only it causes mucus... Because even if it's a vegetable, see, that's why you got to even break that community that's making that a law. Yeah, your body just, it's making mucus so it can pass through, mm -hmm. and uh, it causes an inflammation. Yeah, it's new. It just came into the system. The system has to get rid of it. Mm -hmm. It takes energy to uh, digest in, it. In this, in this sense. Right. So they say, well, this gives me more energy. But it also takes energy to digest food. Mm -hmm. It's all about energy again. Oh, can we get this? Maybe so, of course, there's going to be changes. So, if I was to eat right now, I'm not going to be sitting there, oh, oh, no, it tastes good. First of all, I would get this, something I, what would I like if I'm going to sit up here and do this? It just won't be anything. And I can't think of nothing right now. 
But anyway. <laughs> a drink of water for my boss. Well, again, the system of change. You'll drink it and stuff. All food, food and liquids is just a behavior that atoms change. And? One is more dense than the other. There's mm. still different uh -huh. two forms of energy. But living on a lighter energy gives you more energy because your body didn't have to waste that much energy to, to, to digest it. it. Is yeah. this making sense now? Yeah. So people come, it's simple. We ain't thinking. You got to really think this stuff through. The compromises we make it. It's so sort of food like. It's like only uh, something that we are. Uh, uh, it is an energy. It is a fossil fuel. If that's the level you're at, that's what you need to survive. If a person stops eating right now and don't know nothing about this, they're going to die. Yeah. You're on that frequency. You're on that vibration. That's why you have to transform the vehicle. You have to upgrade the product. Is this making sense? This is what I, this is what I asked you like two questions before. And I answered it in many ways. Yeah, yeah, you got things to do to change yourself. Absolutely. Even going to one meal a day would change the way the energy is flowing in the body. And that's why I tell people living on prana, meditation is the foundation. No matter which one you choose, it should be able to break blockages in the body, open up the energy channels, and until you master that, don't even think about food freedom. Too many people jumping on it just thinking about the food pro pro part, and I'm like, they don't hear me. Because they're lazy. They don't. Meditation is hard. Yes. But Let, let's hit it on a nutshell. Because I, I've dealt, I'm dealing with a lot of people that, I've been meditating for 20 years. Oh, really? And after I get down with them, just the first time I felt that energy. What were you doing before? <laughs> what were you doing? Right? I meditate two hours a day. Mm. For what? It don't take all that. You don't understand. Yeah. I'm a meditator. Why are you sick? If you was running energy, you shouldn't have that sickness. You don't know. It's a term that's being used lightly. People. People. But I, but I see Tzachi as a person who's um, uh, aware of his nutritious and he meditates. Most so what prevents him to be... Um, like you said, the key words. I see. Okay. You're a third I person. said the key words. You're a third person. You're not him. Okay. You see. People give you what they want you to see. You always have a public face and a private face. Yes. What goes on in private is actually the pranic journey. Right. We all can act in a group. I see people, maybe in their full lotus. Right. That don't mean they do. Ah, they a meditator. Right. That's what we do. They got their meal. Like there was a retreat I threw one time that was funny. This dude was a fruitarian. He had to let everybody know. <laughs> <laughs> and once you get to this vibration, you don't put nothing in your body lower than that or you can die. That's what he said. Because I try to teach him that even when you come on prana, you still could enjoy yourself with family at times, friends. And he's like, no, you shouldn't do it. Once you become Prana, you should stay on that vibration. That's what he tried to say. And I was like, well, you're what, human. What does it mean? What do you think? Well, by you should vibration. stay. You're at that vibration. And you, your you body will change to the point you could die if you eat anything. So that's basically what you get asked to be. Your system would be a certain way. He's saying that, basically. And I'm looking at him like, but once he's seen how user-friendly I was teaching, we're all humans. you got to go back out of society. You don't got to close yourself off from everybody. Then he finally admitted, I did order a pizza a couple weeks ago. Mm -hmm. I know you did. Mm -hmm. Right. I, I, you know, and then I ordered two. Right. <laughs> Don't beat up on yourself. Don't, we're not impressed. <laughs> we're not impressed just because you did that. And even me, I've been on this path for 18 years. Now, let's see how I said that. The path for 18 years. That's why I teach you the do's, the don'ts, how to apply it. That's what makes me a teacher. I'm teaching you my life experience. Yeah. But people want to blow it. He hasn't eaten or drinking for 18 years. I didn't say that. Y'all looking for that thing on the Guinness Book of World Records again. Mm -hmm. You know, a person can, but why should you? I don't have to. I raised a family. I dealt with friends. I go to coffee shops. I'm human. Yeah. I don't want to sit up there on the mountain, you know. In the this is, and that humanity will do you like this. We, want to, we don't want to see you eat. We want to keep fooling around, but we want to see you do that. So they want to make this God out of you. 
And even if you go for like two months or two years, already broke the record, as soon as you probably want to share something, see, you need to eat to live. See, that's what we do to each other. And that's what makes us stupid. That's why you need to be educated. This is why we need to break, clear the air. This is all I'm doing. So if one thing about saying, uh, could a person eat or not eat, we also need to clear the air to protect people who's on this path. Because there's some people who's planet who won't come back out to the public because the public could be very mean. We see how they do celebrities. <laughs> They'll drag you up over the rocks. Right. Yeah. And dealing with this negative force of people, it's even hard becoming a fruitarian or vegan. It was hard for me to become a vegan in my community back in the day. Well, today it's, it's hard to be a meat eater. Yeah, yeah now it's hard to be a meat eater. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do the people again. People make it hard. Or just, that's why people say, what was the hardest thing in your transition? People? It is. I've been deleting a lot of people off of social media to, Lately, I had to get a massage on my finger today because I was hitting the delete button. Right? <laughs> yeah. You But, know, there are some things on the web that uh, me, as uh, if I have some uh, audience, I don't talk about some of the things that I think or see or get from my uh, guidance because I know that people will, will uh, slaughter me. <laughs> well, just on that level, so you can see how this game is. So, but anyway, I come out boldly because the reason I am, for me, this is a mission. When I came out and came into Food Freedom and learned about it, there wasn't that much information out there. Uh, there wasn't that many teachers out there. It was like, I'm in the world by myself. It was like a movie. Duh. Invasion of the Body Snatchers. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's a possessed alien. <laughs> right. Zombies. <laughs> <laughs> So that's why I took a lot of hits on the head, didn't have no guru, had to come out with my own stuff and work on myself, love myself. So then it became t clear to me, you the one have to open up the door for others, stay consistent. So now mine is more personal, it is. So when I stay food free, you understand, I'm the real deal so I can break that lower frequency. You understand, so I don't play games. Mm -hmm. But I do it too because I like doing it. I, I guess I was made for this. <laughs> <laughs> well, but it makes it easier for people when you've got a platform when you can say that is possible this is what it takes but in all humanity do need to learn health a lot of people coming from dysfunctional families what is a dysfunctional family an unhealthy family that's prana you, you, you remember the, the series the Living in Colors yeah the Jim Carrey dysfunctional family the, dysfunctional <laughs> everybody Everywhere I go, I see dysfunctional family. That's right there is a bad energy. We got dysfunctional governments. Oh, and so trying to go further on how you use these energies. And it don't have to be like this. It all deals with education. That's all it deals with. That's what happens at the retreats. The education, the education. Uh, is very constant. I mean, right. like that. I mean, you're staying in a, a bath of, yeah. Straightforward. This is how you work with it. And sometimes people, not sometimes, 